So, this is kind of awkward, but PHP is back. We are back, baby! We are fucking back! We are back! And trust me, this isn't an exaggeration. Thanks in part to the success of the Laravel framework and its major V8 rework, PHP is actually kind of cool again. It now has a just-in-time compiler, meant to improve performance by compiling parts of the code at runtime, and it has named arguments, union types, structured metadata, match expressions, and many other features. But a really exciting language addition is dropping in the upcoming 8.5 release, and we really need to talk about it. The pipe operator originated in ML languages like OCaml and f -sharp, but actually got popular in the 2010s thanks to Elixir. Elixir's entire syntax and mental model is built around transforming data with chains of pure functions using the pipe operator, and the community heavily promoted it as a readability tool. Fast forward to 2025, when even JavaScript has a pipe operator proposal, but, more importantly, PHP is actually shipping this into the language. And the dev experience is really straightforward. You take an input, you pass it through a series of transformations, top to bottom, and you can finally stop writing code that reads backwards. So no more chains or nested functions, and, more importantly, no more wasting time figuring out how many closing parentheses you need in order to have your code running. Under the hood, the pipe operator takes whatever's on the left-hand side and passes it as the first argument to the expression on the right. Then, if what's on the right is a first-class callable, PHP will call that function with the piped value. But to be fair, there are some constraints. If the function you want to use takes more than one argument, you cannot just pipe into it directly and you'll need to wrap it in a closure. But here is where things get really interesting. The PHP internals team is already working on adding partial function application into the language. Yes, believe it or not, these are the types of features PHP is offering these days. With this addition, the pipe operator will get an impressive power-up. Right now, if you want to pipe into a function accepting more than one argument, like string replace, you'll have to wrap it in a closure. But once the partial function application support lands, this code can be simplified. So the question mark acts as a placeholder, telling PHP where to place the piped value. As a result, the whole thing becomes more declarative and readable, and we get cleaner syntax without giving up flexibility. The pipe operator doesn't offer runtime performance gains, and, in fact, wrapping callables in closures might add a minor overhead, but the developer experience boost is where it shines. Pipes can be combined with object method calls, which is useful when working with data manipulation classes or with matching to write really expressive code. So you get the point. PHP is not a language you abandoned back in 2010. So now is the best time to migrate your next startup idea from the old boring Next.js to something cool and fresh like the LAMP stack. Let me know in the comments if you are interested in more PHP content and don't forget to click the like button, subscribe to the channel and check out some of the other videos on the channel. Until next time, thank you for watching.